We had been married for three years and had just finished fixing up our house. As we walked through the parking lot with our grocery, Mohammed turned to me and said, I got a job in Canada and I need to leave in two weeks. Just by yourself or do I we live together? It is just me, but you can join in a few months. I started crying. I know that it was his dream to live and work in Canada as a big. I just didn't think that it would happen so fast. Six months later, I was excited to pick up my visa for Canada. People had told me I was lucky to move there and I was planning on purchasing my place ticket soon. Two days later, every border in the world shut down because of COVID. When they opened four months later, I was delayed again because Mohammed hadn't been able to find us a place to stay. He hadn't realized that when you got a job in Jasper, the first thing you need to ask about is housing. When I finally arrived, it was scary. I was taken straight to the apartment by security without seeing Muhammad. During my 14 days isolation, I would receive phone calls from the government in English and I didn't understand what they were asking. When I finally left the apartment, I was excited, but I also worried about how people would accept me wearing my hijab. As a Muhammad gave me a tour around the Jasper Park Lodge, I immediately loved our new home in the mountains. When we went to the outer service, they connect us with someone who speak English and Arabic. We meet Rehan at the library and I start learning quickly. At one session there were two other Moroccan women. They had their kids and we took turn watching them. Afterwards, Sandra, the outreach coordinator, said to me, I saw how good you are with children. Have you told about working with Decker? I was interested but I had no experience and was worried about speaking English. Later, Sandra encouraged me to submit a resume and help me get the first aid certification. When I first met with the manager, I asked if I could volunteer for two days a week to see if I can do it. Just like my first few days in Canada, my first days at daycare were scary, but the teacher helped me and showed me what they were doing. I loved going outside and playing with the kids. After one month, they gave me access to study the Level 1 Educator Certificate program, and I became a casual employee. After three years in Jasper, I still miss home but I feel more connected. People know me now. I volunteer at the food bank and the Jasper Newcomers Committee. I sell Moroccan cookies and sweets online and at the market. And my English is getting better. Right now, we are planning to stay in Jasper for a long time, but you never know what the future holds. When Muslim newcomers arrive in Jasper, they call us and we help them get the information they need. We also tell them it is normal to miss your country and it is good to be connected to your culture, but it is also important to be open and integrate into the community. Whenever they have an opportunity to connect, they should do it.